Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we will be doing part two of our cravat. Yay! <laughs> We're up to the final part of the cravat. Now this part you will be joining your two pieces together and then you will be putting on a border row. Okay? You will need your crochet hook, your scissors and your weaving or darning needle. Um, and also, if you are joining us new today, firstly, welcome. <laughs> and secondly, if you would like to do this tutorial, I mean this particular cravat, um, parts one and two, or one, sorry, it will be in a description box down below. Come back to us, uh, do the pieces in the part series. Come back to us and uh, we will spend part two putting the pieces together and doing the border. Okay, so without further ado, let's get on with part two. We have our two pieces here, we should put those aside. You will need your 3.5 millimeter hook today. You will need your scissors, yes. And of course, I hate to have to admit this, but you will need that pesky darning sewing weaving needle, whatever you like to call it. That's a tad thin for my yarn, so hopefully I can get the yarn, the thread through that eye. We shall see. Um, let's just move everything out of the way for now. You will need your panels. Now, I remember saying that um, don't cast off your second panel. Um, it doesn't matter if you have. We can always attach it. It doesn't really matter. And this, I've actually weaved in all the ends of my second panel and left one, whoops, sorry, one, two, and three ends here. What I'm going to do just quickly, uh, if for those newbies of mine, if you haven't weaved in your ends yet, we're going to quickly weave in one, okay? Just one, and I'm going to use um, probably one of the white ones to weave in. Oh, is it one or two? There we go. Oh, there's one. There's one right there. Okay. All right. Because there are two ways that you can do your ends with this piece. The first way is, of course, you can weave them in. I think that eye is not too bad. That's good. All good. <laughs> so the first way is this way. All right, let's get a nice little close-up of it for you. All righty. So with your end that you're weaving in, the, the idea is to make sure that, firstly, nothing is wrong. If you have made a mistake somewhere and you want to take it undone to fix, you won't be able to once you weave in this end. All right, so what we're going to do is, so you can see, split the yarn. Okay, we're not just weaving it in, we're splitting that yarn, just that little bit, and pull it through gently. Okay, then we're going to split the opposite way, different direction, of course, a different space. Okay, and then split the other way again. Okay. Then once we've split it one way, you literally do what you normally do. Just bring your needle in and in out, weaving it in and out. Making sure you stay on the white and not go on the purple because it is the white. I know it's, it's very difficult, the white, because we've only got one row of it. Now don't pull this too tight or that's going to happen. It's going to pull. You don't want that. So you need to have a space to put your border on later okay and lucky it's going to be a very basic border and i did that on purpose for our first cravat if you will i don't know whether we'll be doing another one we might we might do a different style in the future but not for a while so i've gone in and out a few times it's looking too thick so we don't want to go in anymore otherwise it'll be too thick and it'll be no good once you crochet over it so that is one way we're going to weave in the end later i will show you how to weave in the end once the border is on. So this is our one panel. Now, the way you tell the right side and the wrong side to this particular piece, okay, we we put both our pieces together and where you have finished with your other side that you still have the yarn attached, okay, if you look, here we go, Remember how I said before in one of my other tutorials, probably in even in this part, part two of this one, when you're holding your work in your hand, see these little Vs, they look like Vs, they are facing you. But if you're holding it the other way in your hand, the Vs are going downwards. 
Now going downwards means that that is the back of your project. Now you want to keep the front of your project with your V's facing you. That's how we're going to work, okay? Now, leave that one there. We probably should have did that one second, actually. Now, I'm trying to get it all into the screen. Okay. There's your pieces, right? Oh, it's too close. There's your pieces. You bring them both down this way, past that white, that very last white or cream colour that you used or whatever colour you used. All right? Now, they're both facing us. The V's are both facing us. So turn one to one side. Turn one to the other side. And that's what you have so far. All right, so your pieces are facing each other. You're chaining up one, two, as you normally would, but you're not turning, you're just chaining the two up. Then you're letting go of that loop. We're bringing it up a little bit. Grab your other side. Now, remember your first three chains from the other side? You're going to pop your hook in that first chain. I'm hoping this makes sense. It's only that the thread is very thin and it's hard to see this part. But we are going to pop that loop back on the hook. Give it a tug, gentle tug. Pull the loop through that stitch. And there you go. Okay? So you chain up one two and three and you lift the loop now you are going to pop it back in that stitch the corresponding stitch that you come to grab your loop and pull it through there yes now all you're going to do is put a double crochet in that next stitch. Lift up your loop. Pop it through there. Oops, sorry about that. Pop it through there. Pull the loop through. I'm hoping this is making sense, guys. Now you're going to put another double crochet in there. Lift up your loop. Pop it through the other side. Okay, so that's your double crochet V stitch in there. You're going to jump into the very next stitch and do another double crochet or a double crochet, I should say. Pull up a loop, pop your, your hook in that opposite corresponding stitch, pull the loop through. If you're struggling as a newbie, you need to put another double crochet in there. If you're struggling, struggling as a newbie, you can join our crochet along and I'll actually put a link in the description box down below. We're going to the opposite stitch. I'll put a link in the description box of the chunky square that we made and that will show you how to do this stitch a lot easier. So you're going to double crochet into your next V stitch, pull up a loop, pop your hook in there. Pull the loop through and double crochet into the same V stitch. Pull up a loop and pop your hook in there. So I'm going to have a look. We'll just double crochet in the very next one and then we'll stop for a minute because I want to have a look and see how we're going. And hopefully <laughs> they're corresponding. <laughs> when we get here, because I've got a loose end, um, don't stress out, that's just me. And we can just go in there. We'll probably end up going in between the stitch there first. And then we'll go into there. Anyway, don't worry about it until we get there. So we're going to keep going. And if you have a look, you're getting like a, a flat braid. It's still there. You can see it. But it's still a flat braid and you still have your double crochets there. And you haven't had to cast off. That's the main thing. You haven't had to add, an, add another stitch. You haven't had to sew in ends. It's all one piece. Pop the loop up. Go to your corresponding stitch, opposite side. Grab your loop. I'll do this part really, really close so you can see it. Pull the loop through. Our regulars will know how to do this. 
double crochet in that same stitch pull up a loop go to the corresponding stitch and pull that loop in and pull it through jump into your next double crochet V stitch and do a double crochet okay pull the loop through okay it shouldn't be too hard now you should know pretty much how to do this I wonder what colors you used on your cravat I know classy Kim has shared her cravat on my Facebook page and I thank you so much so if you feel like you would like to share your cravat and show me your colors by all means do that on my facebook page i will pop the link in the description box down below now we're going to jump into our next one okay and again one more in there pull up a loop this is the only tricky part of this tutorial okay two in here or one in there sorry I should say lift up your loop then the next part of it is going to be very very basic so be be, be ready to uh, get excited guys because that's pretty much the end of the cravat on the next part do another double crochet in there grab the opposite side now this is getting tricky okay but we can still see the opposite side okay pull the loop through do one more in there or one in there i should say pull up a loop grab that pop it on or through there pull the loop through do another one in there nearly done pull up a loop all right so we're going to get real tricky now okay See that very last stitch right there, that third stitch? That's where you want to pop your hook in. If I can get it in. <laughs> Mine's very tight, guys. Oh, dearie me. Very tight. Here we go. I'm in. Okay. Pop your loop through. I'm going as slowly as I can because this is very thin yarn. And then we're just going to put a double crochet in the top of that very third stitch that you'll come to okay and there you go all right so that's where we are at the moment I know we've already pulled that loop in there but we're going to pop this one back in there too okay just it's like a slip stitch to keep it in place so that's what you have so oops sorry <laughs> that's what you have so far pretty cool huh and a tiny little thread looking thing there you're not going to cast off yet no 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 we're going to keep going all right now this is the fun bit guys Woohoo! this is almost the end of our cravat you're chaining one and what you're going to do in that same space we're actually in the space that you're in no, you're not I'm sorry you're going to jump into the very next space see that space there you're going to do a single crochet in there one which is just a yarn in the hook again yarn in the hook yarn in the, under the loop over two so all you've done is do two single crochets in that space then you're going to jump into the very next space right there now don't miss spaces because if you miss spaces that's where we're going to have problems one two so really all you are doing is putting two single crochets in every space all the way across and you're putting it over all of it like that one you're not even putting it any stitches just all over the whole section there two one two basic basic one two all right what I want you to do is crochet your single crochets in each two single crochets in each space 
all the way across until you get to that second last purple space not the last one just the second last one and i'll meet you up okay you still have these last v stitch space there so you still need to put two single crochets in there one and two all right then if you can find it <laughs> a stitch right in there you need to put a single crochet in that tight stitch like mine <laughs> uh, so there's your first single crochet whoops try that again single crochet in the stitch one now you're going to chain two one and two and single crochet in the very same stitch i hope you kind of worked that out with my tight stitching there all right now you're going to put a single crochet only in the first space you see before you double crochet before you v-stitch there so one single crochet there you need to find the top of the stitch right there oh, it's a bit tight there for me guys there we go and do a single crochet in that stitch right there I'm hoping you can see that sorry guys that's a bit far away wasn't it okay there so what you did was you did a single crochet before your v-stitch and then you did a single crochet in the top of that v-stitch right there now you're going to do two single crochets in this space one and two now a single crochet in that stitch Near where your v's are sitting a single crochet in there a little bit loose but it's okay two single crochets in the space before the v's now these are upside down v's at the moment for us okay single crochet in that space and then two in the next space single crochet in that chain and then two in the next space single crochet in that chain and then two in the next space pretty easy huh it's just a little bit fiddly this row this is probably the only row not a row it's a side mary two in the next um it's the only side that's going to be fiddly the rest will be basic one in there two in the next one in there two in the next now we're getting close to the end one and two all right so one in that space right there and we're not going to put two in there we're going to put one because we actually put one in the first one there it's only because this is all fairly tight so we're going to put one in the space there that's all and we're going to turn our work now remember in the, the uh, cravat is quite big now okay now see that corner bit right there you have to pop your hook in there it's a bit tight for me oh that works that's not too bad and you've got to do a single crochet in that space there chain one and two and a single crochet in the same space and what you're doing is just forming that corner now this is the easy bit like we did before two single crochets in there two single crochets in there because we are now along the sides again where we put two single crochets in every space all the way across pretty basic i know right i know my hands are <laughs> really sore today guys because i've been trying to rush to get things done so that i can finish off some tutorials this week um, i want to get a lot done so that next week we can get organized back into our blankets again okay okay there we go so what you need to do basically is one and two all that loop up for a minute you need to put um two single crochets in every little double crochet v stitch stitch all the way across now you're not going to stop there i oh, actually you know what stop when you get to that that line right there so we got to this part here and there's a space there just before it so you're going to put your normal two double crochets two double crochets two single crochets in there wake up mares okay now because you have this line here we could skip it or we could add a stitch okay i would add the stitch so just find a space just before the line 
and put one single crochet in it there okay and then put two in your next space okay so remembering what you do to one side you've got to do to the other guys so later when we come back it'll be looks a little bit misshaped there but when we come back we'll be straightening that up so it'll look great okay so now you're going to put two two single crochets in every space until you get to the end of this side all right oops bring that out so in every space until you get to the end of this side just that second last row and I will meet you up here we are at the end of the side okay we're going to raise that up a little bit and we've done our two single crochets in that space there we still have these V stitches right here okay so you need to put one single crochet in the first space you come to then you are going to find that stitch which is going to be very very tight again <laughs> very very tight okay there we go single crochet in that last stitch there on the bottom chain one and two and single crochet into the same stitch if you can get it in okay and I did that really tight didn't I okay so there that's what you've got so far now we're at the bottom part again which is a little bit tricky it's real tricky because now your little space things are facing that way a little bit so you're going to put a single crochet in that first one whoops first one right there and then two single crochets in the space one and two single crochet crochet a single crochet in that little stitch and then two in there one and two these might this might be too close guys that's better okay single crochet in that little stitch and two single crochets in there I don't know why this sides a lot tighter I don't know must have been tired that day <laughs> single crochet in your space there and two in there okay so really it's single crochet in your stitch I should say and then two single crochets in your space right there okay pretty simple well no it's not simple it, it's simple for um, us avid crocheters and if you're new to crochet I'm sorry if I'm rushing this for you I'm only rushing because I always <laughs> I rush when I get to the end of a project I get really fidgety and I just want to get through it real fast so I do apologize um, if you want to see this slowly just pop it in slow motion <laughs> just do one stitch at a time <laughs> how's that all right so pop our last one in that chain right there now you still need to put one more single crochet in that last space all right now what we're going to do is we're going to put a single crochet in that very tight stitch and oh, it's not too tight this one one and then we chain two one and two and then we put another single crochet in there and now we just put two single crochets in that first space two single crochets in the next space whoops and two single crochets in your white or cream or whatever color you used I'm pulling it up because I just want to show you where we are at and this is the best bit guys you are going to put two single crochets in every space until you get to that very last gap or second last gap we'll say second last one and I'll meet you up okay all right so here we are at the end of this side well not at the end we're in the middle actually because that's where we started off with and I've put two single crochets in there this is the very last two rows before your end so you put two in there which is one and two okay now you're going to put two more in there one and two now remember when we added that extra stitch on that side 
you don't need to add it there because I remembered we actually had one sitting right in there which is a nice tight stitch right there so you're not going to do a single crochet you're going to do a slip stitch through that stitch and onto that stitch and you're going to pull a loop through now if you find yours is a little bit too um, bulging like that you can take that undone take one stitch undone if you want because it might just be that it's just too thick in there so you're just going to slip stitch it again right through and then you don't bulge as much it's entirely up to you it doesn't matter because that is hidden around the back of your neck anyway so you're going to pull the loop through lift it up give it a cut and guess what guys you have finished your cravat now what you need to do is you need to weave in those ends right we're not going to weave in these two ends yet I wanted to show you quickly how to weave in an end after you've crocheted over it see that end right there I wanted to show you that quickly if you um, haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel please go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the little bell button so that you can receive further tutorials in your inbox so what we did was we crocheted over the white and we still have this end so what you're going to do is just put the needle and weave it in and out of the white that you've crocheted over make sure you can't see it on the other end so you're just weaving it in and out of that little white underneath that purple but you're not showing the other end all right give it a tug whoops don't get it all knotted up like I just did and the fact that I'm using cotton tends to knot more I've noticed okay there you go it's hidden but guess what I'm a stickler we're going to do it one more time so we find another space to weave in and out still inside the white don't go into the purple check there can you see the needle no nope. so just pull that through now have you noticed I've pulled it through the purple a little bit so what we're going to do because this is the last the last time we're weaving it in because we've already crocheted over it once haven't we we weaved it in the first time and now we're going to weave it in that second time take your needle out give it a cut as close to the edge as you can but not too close because you don't want to cut your threads there give it a tug and that will be hidden away and that won't come out in the wash okay that's basically pretty much what you do there now with these two ends right here you weave them in however you like to weave them in okay you've got two ends there and I think you've got another end over there no two ends are there and that's it so weave them in and guys you have basically finished your cravat now the way you wear your cravat I pretty much showed you um, in uh, vlog number 11 if you haven't seen vlog number 11 I will put it in the description box down below but you have now officially finished your cravat yay <laughs> so thank you so much for watching um, um give this tutorial a big like if you liked it don't forget to share and don't forget to also share your work um, share the tutorial but also share your work on my facebook page if you would like to um, you don't have to <laughs> but if you would like to um, go ahead and click on the wow crochet page at facebook the link to that is in the description box down below and um that's all i want to say so thanks so much for watching and guess what guys, until we do our next tutorial, it's ciao for now.